Okay, let's talk about conduit. Very seldom do I see conduit getting modeled. One, people think it's too difficult. Two, people think they're not going to route it where they want them to route it anyway. I'll route conduit if it's 102 millimeters or bigger. What I'd like to do is I want to go down to my power level, floor plan level one. I'm going to zoom in on my electrical room. I'm going to go to my systems tab. I want to grab electrical equipment. This time I'm going to load a family. On my mode panel, I'm going to click on load family. I'm going to go down to electrical. I'm going to go to MEP. I'm going to go to electrical power. I'm going to go to distribution. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to grab an M single phase panel, 120 volt MCB surface. I'm going to click open. Now in my electrical room, I'm going to put it right on this wall right here. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to select it. I'm going to add a distribution system of 12208Y. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to give it a panel name of PP-2, and I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to hit Escape. Now, when I select my panel, I get these little nodes that are sticking off of it. So what I want to do is I'm going to right-click right on this node right here. And notice I have a choice of drawing conduit from face. Let's go ahead and select Draw Conduit from Face. Now what happens is Revit throws us into the surface connection mode where we get a nice 3D view of where it's coming from and we get a little view down here of where it's going to be. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type 410 and it's going to push it off to the side. Now once it's in a spot where I want it, I'm just going to click on finish connection. Now I'm going to give it an offset of 3048. This assures me it's going to go straight up from here. So I'm going to go straight up, and I'm going to keep going straight a little bit, because we're above the ceiling now. Now, I can route my conduit pretty much anywhere I want. I can come up to here. I can pick a point right here. I'm going to hit Escape. Now, 53 millimeters, generally, I don't run it if it's that small. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to make some bigger conduit. So I'm going to go ahead and select my panel again. Now I'm going to right click on my side one here. And I'm going to draw a conduit from face. See now that it's going off to the side. I'm okay with the center of it. And I'm going to click on finish connection. But this time I'm going to make my diameter 103 millimeters. I'm going to pick a point right here. Now my offset, I'm going to send up to 3048. I'm going to keep going in this direction. And if we can't quite connect it, what we have to do is we have to just keep drawing it out until we can pick a point. Or we have to go back to the same offset that it was, pick a point, and then we need to give it the higher offset. And we'll see that we get our drop symbol. Now I can go across my hallway with it. I can hit escape. Now we've got conduit kind of drawn in. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to create a call out of this area and I'm going to look at my conduit in a little better detail. So I'm going to go to the view tab and I'm going to click my call out button right here. And I'm going to pick a window right around this area here. I'm going to hit escape a few times. I'm going to select my bubble, and I'm just going to move it down out of the way so it's not interfering with my tags and stuff. And I'm going to double-click on that bubble. Notice that my visibility graphic overrides didn't appear because this is a whole other view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my detail level to fine, but notice that I can't do it. The problem is my view is appended to what's called a view template. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. In my floor plan, I'm going to scroll down till I find where it says View Template. I'm going to click on Electrical Plan. I'm going to click None. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to set my detail level to Fine. Now, I'm going to set my scale 1 to 50. 
I'm going to type VG. I'm going to scroll down to floors. I'm going to override my surface patterns and turn them off. Remember how we did that before? Click apply. I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little drop down next to my house right here. And I'm going to click on camera. I'm going to pick a point right near the door. I'm going to pick a second point way past my conduit and everything else, like right about here. Now we have a 3D view in that room. So I'm going to move my little crop region out of the way a little bit. Notice how I've got these little grips. I'm going to change my detail level to fine. I'm going to change my visual style to realistic. Now what I'm going to do is over here in my discipline, I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to go to coordination. My sub discipline, I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to go power. I'm going to click apply. Oh, I can move this down a little bit. Now we see what's going on in that room. So we're drawing the conduit off the face of this panel, but now we can see what it's doing. It's going through the wall, it's going through the ceiling. So that's how you draw a conduit.